So some recent changes are going to affect how we do wireless microphones in the whole industry. And so in this video, we're going to be checking out the Audio-Technica System 10 digital audio wireless solution coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And we're here at NAB at the Audio-Technica booth, checking out this System 10 digital wireless system. Now this is a great system for content creators. We're looking at a couple of the receivers right now. Here's two packs, and these would work with a handheld mic or with a lavalier system. But recently there's a huge announcement that's kind of making waves in the industry about this 600 megahertz band going away. T-Mobile just purchased it. And that actually means that this microphone is not gonna be working anymore. In fact, it would get shut down in a few years because I'm not allowed to use this band anymore. But for the the time being, it's still working, but that's why myself, our team, we're thinking about shifting over to digital, and so this is a great solution for that. Basically, the difference is, typically these mics would work on different bands, the 500 megahertz band, the 600 megahertz band, and so 600's going away, and who knows? I was talking to some experts here at the booth, and it sounds like this UHF, which is kind of the old system, at least for what we're doing, is kind of on the way out, and digital is on the way in. So this works at 2.4 gigahertz digital and kind of shares that with you know some Wi-Fi signals and some other things, but there's a lot of benefits to this setup. You know, one of them is that on the fly, it is looking for an open band. It's looking for an open frequency so that you get that clean audio and it's doing all of that for you. For us, we're set on a certain frequency and we might get static. We might get some interference and so then we have to stop, switch around and look for a band that has no competition or look for a channel with no competition. And so this just solves it. So for content creators, you just don't have to worry about it. You can just plug and play and you're good to go. This setup also uh, is a mic like this has a compender in it, whereas this is a little bit better audio. Now for talking head kind of vocals, stuff like we're doing, probably wouldn't matter too much, but if you wanted to do vocals and you really wanted those nuances of voice, then a setup like this would be a lot more solid. And so you can jump into this kit and either just get a lavalier mic as well as a receiver uh, for around between 397 or 449 in the US is the range of price. And again, you could also get a uh, wireless situation just like this would be similar results, but again, this is digital on the 2.4 gigahertz band. And so basically what you're getting here is this will work with like any camera with a mount. So you can just slide this onto your typical hot shoe or cold shoe and you could start using it. You could put it on your uh, audience. You could do interviews, different things. If you end up with two packs, then one person could do a handheld mic. The other person could have a lav. A lot of different combinations that you could do with these. And so the other thing that's pretty cool is you could also use it with like an iPad or a smartphone. And all you need to do is just convert that TRS cable to a TRRS cable, which is basically the two rings versus the three rings. And so you can see that right here in this uh, footage. And so bottom line, be thinking about moving to digital to a solution like this for your content creation, for your you know run and gun, for your shooting, because these UHF microphones are in danger, right? It's already shifting, it's already changing, and it sounds like even more and more frequencies are gonna be taken up. And so definitely be looking into solutions like this in the coming years. Question of the day, what solution do you need for audio? What do you use your mics for the most? Are you always solo? Do you do interviews? What kind of content are you creating? And I would also, if you've heard about some of this news about T-Mobile and getting the 600 megahertz frequency, let me know your thoughts and your opinions on that situation in the comment section below. So thanks so much for checking out this video. You can check out show notes and links and all the specs of this gear in the description below. And definitely subscribe, click here for more coverage of NAB. And you can check out the full playlist from NAB right here, all of our videos, all of our coverage. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.